the materials in the Earth's crust and its domains, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere are referred to as resources. Resources are defined as a country's collective means of support. These means are necessary for supporting life and for economic development. Therefore, the study of resources involves man's relationship with the environment which is original source of all types of resources. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Value to resources, characteristics of resources and types of resources. Resources Water, electricity, vehicles, crops and textbook have something in common. They have utility as they all are used by us. Utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource. Value means worth. Some resources have economic value, some do not. For example, metals may have an economic value, a beautiful landscape may not. But both are important and satisfy human needs. Natural and Human Resources The materials in the Earth's crust and its domains, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere are referred to as resources. Humans add value to resources. By definition, resources are a collective means of satisfying human wants. They are obtained from our environment either directly or by application of human skills and technology. Human beings by means of their skills add value to resources which they need. Four types of value addition associated with resources are economic, legal, aesthetic and ethical. When iron ore is changed into usable iron, it commands a price or becomes economically useful. Clean Air Act is an example of legal value attached to air, nature's free gift. Aesthetic value in addition to a resource is a holiday resort. People enjoy the beauty of nature or wilderness only when they have a place to stay, rest and eat comfortably. Characteristics of Resources Thus, a material can be called a resource if it satisfies the following conditions. It is capable of being transformed into a useful thing. 2. It should exist in sufficient quantity to be exploited for use. 3. It should have certain properties. Factors affecting the use of resources. Skills and technology. The use and value of resources much depends on technology and human skills. Factors affecting the use of resources. Cost. The costs involved in development, extraction, and transportation form the most critical components affecting the use of resources. Transport and Communication Many areas on the earth are inaccessible. Transport and communication play a crucial role in covering the areas. For example, Siberia in Russia has huge resources but due to the lack of transport and communication, these resources cannot be exploited. It is only recently that human settlements have appeared in some parts of Siberia. Factors affecting the use of resources. Adequate deposits. Resources can be exploited commercially only if adequate deposits occur at a place. For example, iron ore deposits in Chota Nagpur area can be exploited on commercial lines because adequate deposits and other required materials are found in that area. Industrialization It is the industries which make use of resources as raw materials and turn them into useful products. Poor nations lacking industrialization use primitive methods and obsolete technology as well as worn-out machinery and produce inferior quality resources that are quite expensive. 